top 20 niche ideas for Easter. All right, so the first niche that we're going into is Easter and gnomes. And you're gonna see the, the kind of like the color pattern they got going on right here. They got three different gnomes, three different colors. Most of these colors are, you know, like lighter blue, yellows, and purples, and just thinking of different colors for Easter. But this right here, 283 ratings, 4.6 out of five. So it's, uh, you can definitely tell it's been up there for a while. Really cool, nice illustrations, no text on the t-shirt. So keep that in mind too as well. And they're each holding an Easter egg. Now you can, obviously there's like, you can do, put bunny ears inside of like the gnome hats. I've seen a few of those too as well. So it's just like something that is, think about something that's trending. Now gnomes have been trending over the years. Now you're mixing them in to, you know, different, you're mixing them into different niches, right? So you're sub niching them down. So will this work for, you know, obviously Easter, this, will this work for Cinco de Mayo? Will this work for the summer? If you can think of some type of summertime niche or anything like that, it will work really great. And the price point, $16.99. If we come down here, look at the, let's look at the all-time BSR. We look at this all-time BSR. You can tell that every time it gets closer and closer to Easter, you know, it starts to trend down. But even throughout the year, it makes sales here and there. So this is more of like a, when it gets closer to Easter, it's gonna, it's gonna trend down, but look at that BSR, it's cranking right now, 13K BSR, but sells throughout the year. People just probably just love the design. So one thing to think about is if you create a really awesome design for like a certain holiday, it definitely has the potential of making sales throughout the whole year too. But not as much, right? Maybe like one or two sales a month, but this is, cons you know, it's a consistent seller and it's gonna rank in a, probably a lot of money for every single Easter, probably making over a thousand dollars each time during Easter time, right? So really, really cool design, nothing too crazy about it. And anything, any of this can be done if you can, you know, find an artist or anything like that, or even just using even AI right now, right? Leveraging AI to help you create a design like this is doable. Something too, Easter is in March of, March 31st, 2024. Usually it's in April, so, this niche is approaching pretty fast on this. And I actually had this record. I wanted to do this recording last month to kind of give you guys an insight on some niche ideas. But I was like, got, got a little caught up and busy, but I, you know, I'm here making it, but it's, you got, we almost got what, like, like three weeks out, three, three weeks and a few days out. So um, usually it happens in April. So I was expecting it, you know, I'm going to get the video done at the beginning of March, but Hey, I got it done. Right. So it's never too late for a niche too, as well, by the way, just to keep this in mind, it's always happening every single year but you can definitely get last minute sales in. So you still have time to get designs up for Easter, but if you're gonna go ahead and, and focus on designing ahead or, or getting in front of any of these niches, it's definitely good to get a, a three months out, but you can definitely leverage like an evergreen rabbit design right now and leverage that to make sales so we can turn into an evergreen design where it's making sales all year long. So keep that in mind. Something to keep in mind is like when you're, you're looking at all these different types of niches, all these holidays. There's always like, for example, Easter and bunnies work really well, but bunnies is an evergreen niche, right? So Easter, like a bunny, right? So a bunny is obviously an animal, but it will make, that niche will make sales all year long. So for next month, and then every single time like Easter comes around, there will definitely be a big trend or a big like search volume in or search volume for that actual design and make more sales. So keep that in mind. All right, next niche idea is going to be Eastersaurus Rex. So this one right here, it's a cool. There's actually, there's a few different designs out there that do really well. You have the T-Rex the just holding uh, nothing too crazy about this design, right? It's a, a very like a, like, kind of like a flat design. There's not too much detail, but it's more directed towards like kids, right? And you can tell it's like a playful type of design. Real cool, got the Easter bunny on and then those sunglasses, right? So it's more like, if you look at the keywords right here, it's more directed towards boys with the coloring too. Then don't keep in mind, keep in mind too as well, girls too. So this will be, if you think of, I know a few girl, little girls that love dinosaurs. So don't forget about them. Just because you're designing for boys, don't forget about to design for, make a credit design for girls too. Now, if we come down and look at the all-time sales, you're gonna see it's made its first sell in uh, 22 too. But look at every single time like Easter comes around, you can see like a, a, a trend in sales. And at the very beginning too, they uploaded this one at the, the end, or was it March 24th it said right there, till the 24th. So it's made its first sell in the, of 22.2 in March 24th, but you can see like over time, it's starting to make sales, right? And then it's starting to rank into the algorithm more and make even more. And then same thing with this year too, the, the downward, look at 20, 30, 23K, that's, that's pretty good, right? That this design's crushing. Now, next one is Easter Squad. You're seeing that you got the bunny feet, bunny ears and like this type of style right here anything with squad over the years i've actually personally created a few designs with the word squad in it uh, so easter squad like this is more of like a family you can see right here family matching you'll you'll get cells in threes fours and fives right and if you know if you're aware of that you know that anything when you make 
designs for family matching type of t-shirts, you're, you're, you're going to sell more than two designs for the family, right? Because they're buying them in bulk, right? And that, and that return right there will help you make more sales and generate more sales. And uh, yeah, that's one way to do it, right? And then you can see how they're doing it with the Easter eggs and the color here and the little bunny, the bunny ears, bunny feet, right? Pretty cool. And if we come down, you can see how they have $13.95 too as well. So they're probably most likely what they're doing is get, kind of get that ranking, get that search velocity. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're doing. Getting the search velocity, triggering the algorithm. And then once it gets to a certain point, they'll they'll push up the, the price on it. You can see right here, they just went up to $14.95, $14.95. They're keeping it pretty low and then they're just pushing it up. So they look, they put it at cost. And then they're putting it up and slowly making more and more sales. But they're thinking more like volume, right? So if they're doing more volume, most likely they're, you know, making $2 a sell, but they're probably selling maybe three to four a day. And then it starts to add up slowly, but surely it's made its first sell in 22 two. And then the same thing with this BSR too. You can see that every time Easter comes around, there's a big boost in sales for this t-shirt. Now, next niche is going to be shark, shark and Easter. You got a shark holding the Easter bag basket so you got the shark with the bunny ears and it's holding an easter basket so just think about this right when you're looking at this stuff it's this is funny this is pretty cool though right i like i love this a lot just because it's like it's a play it's a fun little play right you you know pe people love sharks right and it's it's they're they're interesting they're interesting to look at right so this right here is a, is a good play right here and i like that I like this a lot because you can do a lot right here so just thinking of an idea and then like what can you do to you know put your own flip on it this is a one way to be original and try to stand out from everyone else right just thinking of different animals you know like exolotls have been big over the last few years and uh, leveraging that right there's nothing too crazy about this right here it can pre it can be created pretty fast, especially with leveraging AI and, and doing stuff like that. So it's made its first sell in uh, 22 and then you can see it started to make sales, right? This, you're looking at the BSR. If you're unaware of what the BSR is, it's like when the sell when it goes up, right? And then it starts to go down, that means it's made a sell. But then when you see this little, the little scribbly line right here, it goes up and down, but down, it's consistently making sales. That means that there's a demand for this niche, right? People want to buy this type of t-shirt. So, and that's another thing too is like, going into that it's like it's a t-shirt right it's a it's a t-shirt in general so wherever you're doing print on demand etsy redbubble amazon merch on demand or just selling on amazon.com th there's a demand for this there's there's wherever you're selling a t-shirt or, or or thinking of ideas to create designs for products this is a good idea okay no now we show we looked at the easter squad shirt right now we have the easter the east i'm the teacher bunny so now anything you can mix with school or teachers and and, and, and a niche it's a really good idea so for example, like St. Patrick's Day and teachers, like that's a good idea. Now teachers and Easter, that's a good idea. This is a really, really good idea. Nothing too crazy, kind of very similar to the Easter squad in a way, right? And uh, just different colored ears, right? It's more of a gray and the pink pink ears, right? And they have they still have the Easter eggs right there. Now if we go down and we look at the all-time sales, you're gonna see it's made its first sale in 2023. But then as, that's, that's interesting, because as it started to be pushed more into the algorithm, but now it's starting to make sales toward the end toward the end of last year, right? I wonder if they're just, you know, getting teachers are getting t-shirts a little bit earlier than normal and they're just kind of they're, they're you know, Easter may, might be their favorite holiday, so they're going to get their t favorite teacher a t-shirt or something like that, right? So that can be a, definitely a good idea. But like like this one, nothing too crazy. Anyone can do this type of design. All right, so everything that I found in this video, I was using Merch Informer. With that being said, I'll be doing a 1 month free giveaway the link's gonna be down below in the description make sure you follow everything and watch this video to the end to enter to win and one of the cool features that i love to use with merch informer is movers and shakers you use this on the daily you're gonna find new niche ideas basically inspiration and different ideas that you probably never even thought about right so if i come down here you're gonna see like this right here kiss me i am australian this if I click on this, it's going to bring me straight over to Amazon.com. And when it brings me over here, it's going to just basically the whole breakdown right of everything. But also you can just come in here and just look at all the stuff. And it has like the sell, the BSR, the sales, you know, the sales history and all that stuff right here, right in front of you. Let's keep going down. Let's like, let's go to the middle of the page. There's obviously a ton of different ideas here. I'm just here for the chicks. Cool one. Total solar eclipse. You're going to see, you know, there's just all kinds of just different niches that you probably never even thought about would be all here, right here. Yeah, no. My favorite tool to use when it comes to research, finding new ideas. This is it right here. Like I said, be doing a giveaway. On the bottom, you'll do get a month free of Merch Informer. So 
make sure you follow all the rules in the giveaway down below. All right, next niche is I teach the cutest bunnies in the patch. Now they're they're doing, you gotta think about like what type of hobbies people are doing for Easter or what type of events they're doing. Keep that in mind. Like if, if you do some research in like local communities and stuff like that, you're gonna see like they're hosting like big like Easter hunting, Easter hunting events where, you know, they go out and do searches for eggs or they'll, they're, they're doing like egg, like egg dye stuff. And there's, there's a lot of stuff going on, giving away candy. There's, this is a big community event for some communities. So just think about that too. And I like how they, obviously this is, we know that this is this, obviously this is in the teacher niche too as well, uh, or just in the sc like school niche, teacher niche. I teach the cutest bunnies in the patch. You have the the four like the the four different uh, colors for like Easter right kind of there's different colors for Easter so you want may want to look at the different color schemes for that come down we look at the all time sales 22 tool has made its first sale and then I guess again here once it you know once it gets closer to Easter and just to give you an insight too I've I've personally created a few different designs where they crush for Easter Q1 has always been almost just as good as Q4 for me personally but over the years. It just, it just, it's just the way it works. When I first started doing Amazon merch on demand or just print on demand in general, I have always like tried to figure out ways to make sure I have consistent sales throughout the whole year. Just always testing different niches, creating new designs, and just trying to stay ahead of, you know, certain ideas or with evergreen niches, like what type of trends or what new fonts are working really well right now. Easter with my Nomi's. This saying right here is pretty cool. It's been around, it's been going around for the last few years now, but the same concept here as well. They have the gnomes that the color, the color scheme kind of is very similar to this color scheme of one of the gnomes that we shared in gnome de, the gnome designs that I shared in, in this video already. But this is a really cool one too as well. I like the color, you know, I like how it's taking up a, a good amount of the design. Funny Easter with my gnomies, happy Easter, gnome bunny gnomes. These ones, these little guys have the little bunny ears right inside of their hat right there, as you can see. We look at the all-time sales, right? It's 22.2 has made its first sale, and then it's consistently making sales. Not as much as the one of the few of the other ones that we've seen, but it seems like it's getting pushed more and more in the algorithm, right? Next one, I'm the nurse bunny. Now, you're mixing different occupations in, it, it can be, this can be a gold mine right here because you can literally go into just sub niches inside of, you know, just like the medical field itself. And there's a ton that can be covered there. You could probably cover 20 to 30 different occupations inside of like the medical field, right? And then this is, a, that's a gold mine. That's where, it's, where the sales are. They're consistently making sales, especially during every single holiday. Just a good idea to go in there and scale that out into different holidays. So just keep that in mind. Like there's a ton that can be done here, especially with, it's, it's amazing what we can do with print on demand, right? Is there's endless opportunities that we can create a certain design and then it's live on that platform for years to come and make sales, right? The same thing here, Easter bunny ears, the feet, and then that color scheme right there, the nurse bunny. And then we come down and see the all time sales, 22 two has made its first sale and then just consistently making sales over the years, right? Next one, I will trade, I will trade brother, I will trade brother for Easter candy. No, so Easter candy, Easter eggs, there's, Easter basket. I'll trade. I'll trade my brother for an Easter basket. <laughs> Something like that. All right. There's there's several things that can be done here. But obviously, candy. Right. This was a popular one for Halloween. We went over this in the past with these research type videos that I've done. Um, so much that can be done with this right here. But just think of cute sayings that you would say to your brother or 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 yeah, or, or or sister. Right. Or cousin. Any of that would work. Any of that would work definitely for this niche. But it's just kind of creating that theme of that design, right, for Easter. So think about that, because it got the little bunny ears, you got the Easter eggs, and you got the color schemes going on, a little flower right there, which is really cool. And then if we come down, we look at all-time sales, and you can see that it's made its first sale last year, right, 2023, but now look at, so this is more of a design that's like a newer design, right, in this niche, but it's starting to crank into the algorithm. So keep that in mind, even though it's made its first sale last year, if certain designs that we're looking at the, the BSR history, because, right, we're looking at the history of the BSR to see the you know the consistency if there's a consistent there's consistency in that design it's making sales if there's a demand for the niche and what can you create and by looking at this it's like a newer design but it's consistently making sales so when we come back two years from now it should be making sales right now funny show the go to easter so funny shirt girls boys toddlers easter bunny we got an easter bunny that looks like he's just he's tired or he or she's tired and just laying on the easter eggs so when you're looking at this it's like it's a cool laid back type of design, right? 32 ratings, 4.6 out of five. And this is, I like it a lot. It's a cool design. If we come down, all time sales, 
Look at so it looks like they're messing with a lot of the pricing as you can see here, but they're leveraging that to rank it into the algorithm, right? And the BSR right now, look at that 98k. But if you look at his beta's first sell in 2020, this is a consistent seller. We can so one, two, three, four, five. And you think about that. So the last five years, right? It's definitely this design's made over a thousand dollars all time just by looking at it. That's like the that's a bare minimum. It's probably made it's probably made more than that, obviously. But just looking at that, that's just you know that's the way that's the power of print on demand. Look at that, Cr cranking, crushing. Now with AI, can you create something like this, leverage something like this? Or me personally, like I I leverage you know I have artists on my team that have been working with me for years, and I, I'm like hey create me a cool design like this. Like, what can we do right here that can be different from this? Be unique, and maybe we can do like a different position, like something that's different, like try to stand out and be better than this. Like, what what's cool right now? What's trending? Like, what's going on right now? What can we do? What can we do to get inspiration to create a really awesome design? I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna copy this design. You do not want to copy design theory. The goal is to, this is cranking, this is crushing, what, what can I do? And if you have to sit down and draw it out or, or sit down and kind of think of different ideas, do so. All right, next issue is gonna be like fire trucks and bunnies. Now you're thinking about like, when I think of this, I'm thinking about like what little kids like. Fire trucks, like cop cars tractors you know that's that's what i'm thinking about that's what i'm getting from this that's it's a little it's a, it's a little play right so you think about what little kids like so this is this is a cool design like this is something that little kids will like so with that being said cops cop cars tractors anything around that like if you could think of something like that you can potentially come in here and start making sales inside of this niche you come down all time sales nothing too crazy about this that, that design either all right, 22.2, it started making sales and it's starting to consistently make sales. But I feel like if you just put a little bit more, run some ads to it, make run a little bit more ads to it, you can probably, this can can make a, this can make consistent sales. Definitely, obviously by looking at the BSRs. Nothing too crazy, right? So maybe that's maybe a sign for what else, what can I do to be better than this design? So think of different ideas. That's the first thing I'm thinking about. Well, obviously there's a demand, but is there, is there something else that you can create that can be better than this design? Probably. All right, next niche, uh, happy Easter bunny. You got Bigfoot and an Easter bunny. You got, <laughs> this is really cool. So you got Bigfoot dressed up as uh, Easter bunny, carrying his Easter basket. Then you got a bunny here and you got some Easter eggs in there. This is a really cool design. Now this right here, I'm not sure where they have that period there. So making sure like when you're looking at all this stuff, making sure that you check for trademarks or, or, or copyrights. But usually when I see people do something like this, they're usually trying to go around the algorithm. If you're doing that, don't do that. That's a big no-no, especially on any platform. If you're trying to like, like go around the algorithm or, or trying to fake it out or trick it, they get mad when you do that stuff. So don't do that. But if you look at this right here, this is a cool design. I, I feel like there's something that there's a lot that can be done with this, just with this concept, different ideas, any other type of silhouette. So if you can think of some type of funny silhouette with the Easter bunny, there's a few things I'm thinking about right now. There's like this, think about different niches, go to your top sellers and think about like what you can do personally to come up with, you know, your own type of design with this. Yeah, it's a cool one, it's freaking cool. Now, all time, you see it's made its first sale in 2023, which is last year, but now look at, there's obviously a demand for it because it's starting to trend in. This is a newer niche and the BSR is pretty, it's pretty decent, right? It's pretty good, uh, right? Look at that, it's pretty good. For being a newer design and making sales like that, that means like this, this, can, this has potential to make consistent sales every single year, and especially if it's pushing down below 68K BSR for a new design, sign me up. That's that's money right there. Because like I said, the next few years, this is this is proving to be a top seller right here. It's showing it to be a top seller for next year. Now, next design, funny Easter rabbit eating chocolate Easter bunnies. So this is like a flip off of Pac-Man, right? Now you just, see, this is the thing. You have to be very careful because you don't want to con confuse by like, you're like leveraging their brand to make, so, like you don't want to be any way type of conf like confused. So any, show any type of like confusion, right? Now it's, it's, it's similar, but it's not, right? Now this is up to you. When it comes to this type of stuff, I know people that actually do this, like they're not scared to create their own flip of Pac-Man but like by being totally trying to be different, right? And then there's people that are like, no, I'm not doing it because I don't want to risk my account. So it's all up to you at the end of the day. I've heard personally heard like the president of Amazon March say that it was, but you, you know, you just have to be very careful. Yeah. So it just, you got, it's supposed to be an Easter bunny, right? And you're eating the chocolate bunnies, I guess. So yeah, you got it. You got the point. <laughs> 13 ratings, 4.6 out of five. 
right? And then we come down right here. Look at the all-time sales. I know this one has to be cranking. It's made its first sale in 20. Now you look at this too as well. You kind of keep this into consideration. Like, so it's been up since 22 too. You think Amazon would probably took it down if they would felt some type of way. And I would say yes, because they're pretty good at taking certain designs down, right? Um, if they feel like that's infringing in any type of way. That's what I mean by that. But look at this, it's consistently selling. It's nothing too crazy, but oh, right, this year it's cranking. Compared to the rest of the years, this year it's cranking the most, 22K, 23K, it's making a lot of sales. All right, next design is gonna be a cute Easter bunny with the leopard print with that little the little headband over the top, right? Now, you wanna be careful with saying like leopard print or it, or misleading in any type of way. Amazon don't like that. Now, like you see this right here, this right here, I'm not sure how old it would print. I don't have any type of these, I don't have any of these type of designs, but that leopard, like any of that pattern stuff, making sure that you're not misleading the customer. Amazon doing that does not like that, but obviously it's been up for a while by looking at the ratings and the reviews, right? Just a simple bunny with glasses, cute bunny with glasses and the leopard print glasses and the leopard print headband on. So you just, like I said, using like pattern or print or anything like that, Amazon seems not to like that. And it does have a decent amount of reviews. So usually if it's not printing correctly, Amazon or the customer will leave a review like, hey, this is not printing correctly. It looks like crap, right? That's what, you know, some of the reviews you'll see that. Now you look at all time sale, dang. Now this is something to keep in mind. This is an evergreen style design. But when Easter comes around, it seems like, and this is what I'm talking about, it seems to make more sales. But throughout the whole year, look at that. It's staying consistent with sales. But then when Easter comes around, boom. Now, this is a perfect example of an evergreen niche. You're leveraging a bunny, putting something cute, women women or girls or, or you know the moms are buying it for the moms are buying it for their daughter or the grandma's buying it for the granddaughter or the, the grandma's buying it for the daughter or the, or the aunt what however it goes this right here is a perfect example of like when you're going into like a trending holiday or anything like that but how can you leverage that to create an evergreen design that will make sales all year long perfect example right here so if you understand that you can do a lot with this right here all right, next one is a hoppy hoppy teacher. So this is like a, I feel like this is like taking a trending idea or, or, or something that's a phrase and then going into a niche. So this is a perfect example of you leveraging a trending design or trending idea and then going in there. Obviously, double checking for making sure that it's safe. It's not no 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 song or anything like that, right? Um, or, or anything related to Taylor Swift or anything like that. So hoppy hoppy teacher, uh, cool color got that that groovy text right that groovy font so keep that in mind it's like a trend that's trending it's a retros so groovy yeah 5.0 reviews six ratings all time look at all time sales it's made its first sale in 2023 and then yeah look at it's going to the bsr is cranking like last year it got all the way down to like 71k 70 60k right there so i'm expecting this oh well, it's already doing it 26 52 so yep it's definitely cranking and making sales all right, next nation, we have an Easter bunny dunking the Easter egg. So it's like a basketball, right? So bunny dunk, basketball Easter, pretty cool. You can probably even do, think about like when you're, say, act like he's hanging on the rim and he dunk, dunk the Easter egg and it's like broken on the ground. That would be a really good idea. Like it's like, like smashed on the ground and you can show like the detail work of that. But this is pretty cool too as well. But there's so much that can be done, right? Just coming up with different ideas, looking at it like, oh, that's cool. Oh, I can also do this. This would be a really good idea. Then if we come down, look at the all-time sales. It's made its first sale in 2023. And you can see it's got below 100K, 65K BSR. Now we're going into this year. Look at it, 42K. So it's definitely 58, it's, it's consistently making sales 33, it's, it's doing good. So this is a really cool design, really dope. All right, next one is uh, Eastern baseball. So think of all sports, can we win with the basketball? Now we're going over baseball, tennis, and the football, soccer, whatever you wanna call it. There's there's so much that can be done here, right? And then just like, dress, dress up the baseball like an Easter bunny. Put the Easter ears on it, got the feet on it, right? Nothing too crazy about this design but it's pretty cool, right? Just thinking of different ideas. Think of softball, right? Last year it's made its first sale and it was making sales. So this year it should definitely make sales even, it should make sales here too as well this year for Easter. So it's not really showing that on this BSR chart. It's kind of like flatline. I'm not sure why, but it's maybe making sales. I'm pretty sure it, it should be. All right, now next niche is Happy Easter. Now just think of the sayings that people say when it comes to Easter. So think of different sayings, right? Now, obviously, Happy Easter. We've seen this kind of concept, this this design already with the Easter 
ears and the feet. We've seen it throughout the pretty much the whole video, but like happy Easter, different sayings that can be uh, used for Easter is a good idea. We come down all time sales. It's con oh, last year has made its obviously in 2023 has made its first sale, but look at consistently making sales throughout the whole East time of Easter. And it's doing it again this year with the, the lower BSRs now. Prepare to die D-Y-E. Now everyone's dying like Easter eggs, right? I can see this is a really cool design. Very bold text, prepared to design or font. And you got Easter eggs in the bathtub, right? They're jumping in the bathtub, winking, they're making different faces. Pretty cool. And look at the different color dyes, right? And it's, it's like a drop dripping over the, the bathtub, right? Now, as we go down, let's go down. If we look at the all-time sales, you're going to see that it's made its first sale in 2021 and it's continuing to make sales even in look at 20 what else so in 2021 and then 22 okay 2022 you can see like it's trending all the way down making sales and it's starting to make sales so every single time easter comes around it might not make sales throughout the year but easter this seems to be a really good design for easter now a floral easter bunny right spring flowers and you can see what they're doing they're leveraging spring easter and they're what what's what's you know flowers right and then what's next the bunny so this is a really good design i was thinking right here this leveraging this like here is an evergreen design right so think of that it's just a silhouette of a rabbit with you know obviously with the flowers and stuff like that nothing too crazy about this but this is a really good idea mixing flowers bunnies i think that's that's it's, it's really good now if we look at the all-time sales yeah because even in Q, like going into q4 it's making consistent sales right it's made its first sale in uh, april of 22 too but look at selling 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 now i think if you get this ranking a little bit more it's going to sell all year long this design right here next one is so just think of different dogs dog breeds when i seen this design i was like different dog breeds will be work really well in here pugs bunny pugs bunny bugs bunny pugs bunny different so different types of breeds of dogs and you spend a little bit more time creating different images of the dog's faces turning in into easter bunny themes it'll be a good idea come down all time sales right made its first sale in 2018 and it's continued made sales every time easter comes around now it's a design nothing too crazy i think if you do a little bit more detail work in this obviously you can create a better design and think of different positions for you know the animals instead of just the face maybe you can do them sideways so with them looking there's different things that can be done here right here and if you want more low competition niche ideas like this watch this video right here next thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up